This is a ritual guide. My name is Leslie Demai, and I will be leading you through this ritual intended to banish and release what no longer serves you. Be it self-limiting and negative thoughts, toxic people, or self-sabotaging behaviors. You may also add any other elements to this ritual. Your intuition will guide you. Before we begin, create a safe and sacred space for yourself. You may pause this recording at any time. No distractions for at least 45 minutes. Your room should be completely dark. The darker, the better. We shall commence this ritual with a 15 minute meditation. You can meditate seated with your spine straight, or you may be laying down with your arms by your side. In this meditation, all you are required to do is relax the physical body, relax your breath, and observe. With your eyes closed, begin to notice the subtle sensations of the breath entering in through your nose and out through your nose. Feel your face soften and allow the body to really relax. You have made it to this ritual with an intention. And deep inside, every part of you knows. For now, we rest the body, we rest the breath and we allow what comes up to be. I will return in 15 minutes.
Your 15 minute meditation has come to an end. With your eyes remaining closed, take a deep breath. We will fully come back into our physical body and ever so gently, ever so slowly, begin to move the tips of your fingers. Opening and closing the hands, noticing every sensation. Slowly begin to roll your wrists in both directions, taking your time. Begin to wiggle your toes as well. And move the feet gently coming back into your body and grounding yourself. Open your eyes and take a big stretch and a big breath as you open the eyes. The ritual has commenced. Light your candles. Your space should be dim, but bright enough so that you can see your reflection in the mirror. As you come into this part of the ritual, it is important to note that while you do these practices, like lighting the candles, you are beginning to own your space. Conscious of every movement. There is nothing to fear, but you want to make sure that you are in your complete, full power. And every move you make is done so mindfully. As you light the candle, briefly stare at the flame, stare at the fire. Connect with the flicker, connect with its gentle movements, the subtlety, the heat. Grab your sage. You may light your sage with the flame of the candle. With this sage, you will create magic. The smoke it emits cleanses any dark energy, any stagnant energy. It purifies your sacred space. Acknowledge the smoke that comes from this dried herb and know that it is cleansing you. Create circular motions with the smoke that emits from the sage. Create a protective circle around you with the sage smoke. Reach your arm out with the sage and turn, do a complete 180. Create your sacred protective circle around you. Cleanse your body from your feet.
up your legs. The hips. The trunk of the body. Your chest and shoulders. And your arms. The crown of the head. You may cleanse any objects you will be using throughout this ritual, be it your crystals, your journal, Once you have finished, you may put the sage out. With your space freshly cleansed, ground yourself and get into your body. Intuitively dance, you can stretch. You may be seated, you may be standing up. Just try to move your body and see what it calls you to do. This is all intuitive. There is no need to hold back here. Waking yourself up, moving this vehicle that encapsulates your spirit and going with the flow. Move the body where it needs to be stretched. fast or slow. You can make animalistic types of movements ecstatically in your body, moving sacred space, moving your sacred body, connecting into your higher self. Begin to move your energy up your body. Your feet ground you into the earth, deeply rooting you. And you begin to feel your energy rise up, rising up through your energy centers. Where can you feel the energy? Tap your body when you want. Feel more energy. Your heart is the biggest portal. Feel your heart as you continue to move intuitively. With your grounded feet, Feel the energy shooting up through the crown of the head as you begin to connect to the infinite love frequency. The ultimate pure love consciousness is available to you always, always. You are 
calling on to your higher self as you know it is time to release what no longer serves you. And through this ritual, we have commenced this calling to our higher self. You are divinely protected and you are ready to embrace what comes up because whatever comes up that does not serve you will leave you. It will banish from your life. You will become freer, more authentic. There will be more space inside of you to allow your consciousness to flow freely. We will begin the mirror gazing portion of the ritual next. This part of the ritual is difficult for some people. I believe if it's difficult, that means you need to do this even more. To face yourself through the mirror, which is a portal. With the candle still burning, stand close in front of the mirror. Stare into your eyes and do not look away. Connect with yourself.
will slowly begin to pull away from the mirror. Take a breath in and out. What messages did you take away? What messages did you receive? What did you see? Your reflection is only a part of who you are. We will move on to the journaling. In this journaling, you will need a sheet of paper. We are going to start to free write. And when you free write, you allow your hand to just spill out anything that needs to come out. Now I want you to begin to come back to your intention for this ritual. It's very important to know that it may have changed from the initial intention you came in with. And that's okay. Whatever you need to let go of at this moment, you may focus on that. Begin to free write and list out all that you are going to release. This does not need to be neat or clean. I want you to express yourself with the paper and the pen. No one is ever going to read this. Again, list out all that you are releasing. You're not going to have much time for this part of the ritual because I want you to just, no thinking, just writing, let it out. List out all that you are going to release and why. Why are you banishing this from your life? Why are you cutting the cord permanently? What has this done to you? What has this done to you? Speak to this shadow. Let it speak to you through the pen and the paper. Write down every single negative thought this has ever given you. Write it down. Every single dark, negative. Be brutally honest. You spent enough time with this burden. You spent enough time hiding from it. Let the shadow, let the blockage spew itself on that page. Continue. Express yourself in any way. Let it all out. You have about 30 more seconds left.
15 more seconds to list out everything you're going to release and why you're going to release it. Let it speak to you. This is it. It's going to leave your life very soon. Get it all out. All right. Good job. You are doing great. Go ahead and take a very deep breath now. Let it out with an exhale through the mouth. Another breath. Let it out. Use this powerful energy to now command your power and your will. We are going to alchemize this pain, this blockage. We are going to alchemize it now and use this power that you've channeled. I want you to read out loud what you wrote on this sheet. I want you to read it to yourself two times. Once as you're staring at the sheet of paper and another time I want you to read it in front of the mirror. I will give you some time to do this. When you are ready, I want you to write over what you've just written, write over that entire sheet. I do not consent. I do not consent. If your conscious self is telling your subconscious mind this, it can never hurt you again. I do not consent. I want you to write, you no longer hold power over me. You no longer hold power over me. Connected through your higher self, you will now proclaim to what you are really seen. You have been shown the light. Now tear the sheet up fearlessly. Tear it up into a million pieces. Let it all go. Rip it into shreds. Don't let one letter be visible. Tiny pieces. You are shredding this out. What you do with the remaining pieces is completely up to you. You have two options. You may burn the tiny pieces carefully outdoors, or you can soak them in hot water for at least half an hour. This is going to be the final stamp that banishes out what you have released. You can stare at these tiny pieces and know that they 
have been commanded to leave your existence. You have done an amazing job of connecting with your higher self, facing fear in the eyes, literally. Hold your light. You have reclaimed your spirit and released a burden. You are and have always been a warrior and your spirit will thank you. Gather all your tiny pieces and release the rest of that energy. Most of it has been destroyed, but we want to destroy every piece of evidence. Sage again and put all your things away. You can follow up with a calming bath, some more intuitive movements, a shower. Do what your intuition guides you to do. You have done enough work for today. Amazing work. Thank you for listening to my ritual guide. I am so proud of you. You are deprogramming and you have become your own healer. Thank mm-hmm. you.